In this video, we look at how to use the compound interest formula to calculate the principal, the original amount invested. So here's an example. An investment is worth $3,500 after earning 6% per year, compounded monthly for three years. The question is how much money was invested to begin with. So we'll just list kind of what we know. We know that the amount is $3,500. We know that it earns 6% per year, but it's compounded monthly. So in order to, uh, to do this question, well, I guess we don't know what the principal is. In order to calculate I, we need to figure out the rate per compounding period. So it's 6%. We can write that as decimal 06. And then we need to divide by 12 to figure out the rate per compounding period. So if you take 0 0.06, divide it by 12, we get 0 0.004. Five, and just a reminder here that n is the number of compounding periods. This was for three years, compounded monthly, so it's compounded every month for three years. Three times 12 gives us a total of 36 times. Compound interest formula looks like this. A is equal to P times 1 plus I to the n. Plug in the values that we have. We know that the amount is 3,500. The principal we don't know. The interest is decimal 005, and N is 36. Just simplify the brackets here. You might be able to skip that step and do it all in one go. And then from here, we're trying to find P. P is right here. Let's first find out what uh, this works out to, 1.005 to the 36. So if I plug that into the calculator, uh, I get approximately 1.20. If I round to two decimal places, and we want to find for what find out what solve for p, find out what p is. P is being multiplied by 1.20. We undo that multiplication by dividing, doing the inverse operation, and whatever we do on the right, we better do on the left as well. Plugging that into the calculator, we get two thousand nine hundred and sixteen dollars and sixty-seven cents. So um, that means that the principal. Uh, the amount invested was $2,916.67. So that's how you can use the compound interest formula to find the principal rather than the amount.